Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your anomaly mission for the weekend. This is May 17th, 2024, and we're going to see what the anomaly mission has in store for us. Now, as usual, since I'm just starting the game for the first time today, it's going to take a few moments extra to load up, as usual. So what news? News. How about the expedition? Well, there isn't one right now, is there? But we're looking forward to seeing one very, very soon. Will it come this week? Will it come next week? Who's to say? So if something's going to happen, we're usually going to see an emoji drop from, from Sean, usually between Sunday to Monday, somewhere in that general area. Will it happen this weekend? It's hard to say. And if it does get dropped this weekend, you know it's going to be here by Wednesday. So if it doesn't happen by Sunday, Monday, you're probably going to be waiting another week for that whole thing to happen. Now, considering I'm going to be away this weekend, I'm kind of glad that it isn't happening this weekend, but that's okay. So here we are. Um, what about other news? Let me think here. So I've kind of pulled back on the polya thing a little bit for now. I know I have Twitch running and doing pretty well for the time being, so I'm kind of glad about that, but it'll be held out for now until such things as the drops start happening again. And then you'll probably see me over on Twitch a little more often. Right now, we're going to be all YouTube the whole way. So we're doing um, the anomaly mission from my tertiary save, as I call it, my third main save that I started up ever since the Omega and uh, uh, the Omega, uh, pardon me, the Omega update dropped. I'm having trouble talking. Ever since that dropped, it's been great. It's been great, and I've been having a very good time with No Man's Sky. I've also been participating in Light No Sky, the... Um, the run through with Professor Cynical Miyogi's in there too, which is very interesting. Uh, uh, Ricey Spaceship, Spaceship Emporium, uh, Starship Emporium, and also uh, Captain Steve, of course. Uh, all three of them have got this big, big planet going on and really having some uh, an enjoyable time there and figuring it all out. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and get off this planet here. We're going to pull in the uh, anomaly and see what our mission has in store for today. So thank you very much for listening to my communication there in regards to what's going on in news. So here we go. That should be far enough out. Let's go ahead and pull it in. See what's on the agenda for today. So I'm looking forward to getting a little more gameplay in. Once I'm done recording this, I'm going to do some episodes of my regular playthrough from this tertiary save and see where we are with things. I did forget I have multiplayer turned on. We'll leave it on for now. Let's see how it does. Let's see how we do. There we go. All right, take a look, shall we? Wow, lots of interesting spacecraft here. Some of these, I guarantee you, are designed by people. Through the new spaceship, uh, Starship O, and got a golden vector here. Very nice, very nice. That is from the expedition drops. Looks like a couple other spaceships. I guarantee you some of these are people created. Player created sh ships. That's fantastic. Ah, good. And of course you gotta have a sentinel ship in here at least. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. So we've got Dolphin the Determined also checking this out as well as uh, Bamboy Sam. Very nice. Let's check out what the Nexus has in store for us right now. Anomalous collection. So, oh, this is interesting. Wants us to collect 20 storm crystals. I'm cool with that. Um, let's see. Delivery agents, one of four. I'm hoping that it will disappear. Oh, now we got to do living pearl. Fascinating. I could use some living pearls. Let's go ahead and do that. Initialize, start, and yes. All right, good deal. Now, we may have somebody have joined us in this mission. We'll leave them on there. That's perfectly fine. On our way. Anomalous Collection, it's called. So it seems to change as everybody gets... As the mission um, generates and somebody accepts the mission and goes on that mission, once they leave the station and it's enacted, the mission changes immediately to something else. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen that before. So we'll, again, we'll keep it in multiplayer for now because I've been playing in multiplayer on the uh, on No Man's Sky to see if we can get my base going in the new Light No Sky run. So pretty cool. All right, what do we got? 
I'm guessing it's that planet ahead of us. There we go. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't really make a difference where we land. Because if it just wants us to collect something, that's obvious that would, that's what we're going to do here. Uh, let's see. High Sentinel activity. Rainy planet. So it's probably got storms, but not heavy, heavy storms. So that's okay. What was that all about? That was weird. Yeah, I know what happened. It was the crater that popped into orbit in front of us. All right. Here we go. And let it lock in. There we go. Okay, so we want living pearls, apparently. This looks like a good spot. Where to? Uh, what was I on top of? Oh, look at that. Bad guy was in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. That way I don't have to worry about him when I come back. And I could always use the extra stuff. As you know. Alright. So let's take a look. So we want living pearls. Living pearls are very interesting to try to collect. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. First of all. We're going to go the usual method that everybody uses. You get real close. Try to stay far away. Shoot them. And then you have to rush real quick and try to collect the pearl. Right? Before it snaps shut and damages you again. Well there is a faster way to do this. So, let's take a look. Where's the next pearl at? Uh, there's one right here. Go to first person view and simply get close enough to collect the pearl. No damage. See that? A lot easier. Now, I'm needing to resupply my oxygen. Oh, I don't have one on this character. Right. Right. Got all about that. Let's go ahead and scan these guys. I can always use the extra... Um, Nanites, if I can get everybody, that would be great. I'm going to do that while I'm here. That's plants. Good. So that's three. My guess is there's probably a fourth animal on this planet. Or, pardon me, in the ocean. Oh, they only got six. So three more are flying. And we saw some flying animals earlier. All right, let's get the rest of our pearls. Shall we? Looks like we got a few over there. Okay, none closer to the shoreline. Alright, how far away are you, my friend? 250, 280, 150, 160. Okay, let's head to those. Yeah, you can even see them. And I'll stay at first person for now. And try to point down a little bit. You can stay on the surface without jumping out of the water by accident like I keep doing. All right. Okay, reach it. There we go. See that? There's another one. Looks like there was one right in front of me. No? Oh, okay. That's why. Right below us. Okay, that's all right. Crystal sulfides. You know, we could always use some. I'm going to go ahead and take that into consideration. Oh, but wait. It's telling me to collect Hadal cores. Oh, it did that to me, huh? It... It changed. That's never happened before, right? Wish I had noticed that. I bet you've been laughing at me the whole time, saying, Aha! Uh -huh, I saw that. Why didn't you tell me? I'm kidding. Alright. Where can we get Hadal cores from? So, let's talk about that. Shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of the water here. Alright. Hadal cores can be gathered from two different places. I'm going to see if I can find the first one, and I'm not finding anything at all. So let's take go, let's go for a little swim out to the ocean here. I don't have the ability to put a Nautilin down, so we're going to just keep trucking, trucking along under the water here. I mean, I did need the pearls, so I got them anyway. And I do want to get some more crystal sulfide, so I'll be getting more of those as I go. So you know about those special plants. This is a special plant you can go for, and I'll show you what happens when we go for that. Split up to search the ocean floor. Well, I've got nobody else on with me on this group, do I? Oh, look at that. Yep, there it is. Alluring specimen, right? Okay. So let's go down here, and we're going to show you what happens. Now, I'm going to switch my weapon over to my bolt caster. And a lot of you are already familiar with this. 
Oh, Gandalf is here. Well, great. Cast a spell, my friend. Pretty cool. I'm going to go back into third person so you can see where I am in relation to all this. The problem with these alluring specimens is as you collect those glowing orbs around them, they tend to want to release a beastie. So watch what happens here. Got one. One of these is going to release it. Two. We're getting lucky. Three. Well, I'll be darned. Are we going to get all four? Four. Five. Holy mackerel. We got all five without being attacked. I cannot believe it. We usually get attacked. By a creature. And that's why you need your gun. But I think it's funny that I didn't get attacked this time. So. Unbelievable. Alright. Well, let's go visit the vendor. There is another way. What you can do, though. And I'll just take you on a tour real quick. Is look at the look at the floor, the ocean floor, and look for submerged relics. Submerged relics also contain hadal cores. I can put my ship in, so let's go ahead and just head out. Now, if you find yourself under the water and you need oxygen, you're running low. See, just do that. Get one of those special plants there. So I know this is pretty far away. I'm not going to be floating through the ocean for six hours. But I want to show you at least one of those. And we'll probably be able to keep most of the Hadal cores that we gathered. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, how oh, weird. I usually find these submerged relics rather quickly, but for some reason I'm not finding it. There it is. These are what you're looking for. Two stars. As soon as you get down there, you take a look. They're usually just these little discs. Let me uh, go ahead and... That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Mining beam. And there it is. That's it right there. See that we weird metal object? That will give you another Hadal core. And since there's another one nearby... There you go. That's a very much better picture of one, right? There you go. And you see it also recharges your uh, oxygen at the same time. Very nice. So those will also give you... And it's a much safer way. Nothing will attack you. I'm going to gather some more of these crystal sulfides, because I can always use them. And I do not see any more alluring specimens under here. Now, I am in normal mode. I'm not in anything like survival or permadeath, so... Alright, good deal. I just wanted to gather more of those crystal sulfides. Alright, we should have some land mass coming up in front of us. We do. And as soon as we get over there, we'll call in our ship. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to call the ship on the, on the, over on the shore there. Right about there ought to do. So that is two ways you can gather Hadal cores, and I also got a chance to show you how to gather um, Living Pearls that was a lot easier to gather than in, you know, usually just shooting them from a distance or whatever. I'm going to see if I can get some of the flying creatures. I only need three of them. That's two. Any more around? No weird floating blobbies, that's for, for certain. So maybe when we take off and land over there, we'll take another look. Oh, there they are, right there in front of me. Right? I just gotta make sure I can get them. Right there. Got it! Pretty cool. So I got all six, that's gonna give me a nice bonus. 1,500 more nanites, excellent. I'm very happy about that. Alright! Let's go ahead and turn these in, shall we? All right. I got a journey milestone. Oh, of course, of course. A compiler. All right, how far away we got to go? We got 11 minutes, 10 minutes? All right, let's head out of the atmosphere and take the shortcut. Pulse drive over there and we'll take a look. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Ah, okay, and it's a, it's a this landing platform right here. Okay, let's go ahead and land. Now again, we should be able to keep one or two, maybe all of them. We had to gather five. I'm guessing we're gonna either have to deliver three or four. And we know we corrected, collected, uh, I can't talk anymore. Collected a couple of extras. So let's see what happens here. Deliver, delivery lockbox prepared. Ac accessing. This must be Polo's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. Oh, it wanted us to deliver all five, so no problem. Success. Excellent, so we're done. So I'm glad I got a couple of extra. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's going to come in handy later on. We're going to hang on to those. I got a bunch of crystal sulfides I'm very ha happy about. And then a little extra cytophosphate with some living pearls. Excellent idea to get all that when I can. All right. Let's head over here. Get back in my ship. And we're going to pull in the anomaly. Here we go. And that should be enough. There we go. Anomaly, here we come. And one thing we are going to do, as usual, at the end, we're going to check out the Quicksilver vendor and see where we are with the ice sculptures. We've gotten two of them. We're going to see if the third one is completed yet. See what happens here. El Tonio's 40, El Tonio 45 Starship. Uh, oh, he's got a living ship. Isn't that nice? I knew sooner or later we'd see one of those. All right. Very pretty. I love the uh, silver with the purple. Very nice. White, if you will, I guess. Okay. And we... Not you. We are done with the Nexus. Let's see. So there it is. We're going to get our frigate fuel times two. That's excellent. 1,800 Quicksilver. That's not what I was going to do. Change exit setting? I have no idea what that is. But... There we go. So we got our 1800 Quicksilver. Let's take a look, see what's in the vendor. And exotic items. Let's see what we got. So that one's available. I purchased it on a different one. Tier 3 is 53%. So we might complete that by the end of the weekend. Which would be great if they're going to do the drop next week. So we'll see what happens with that, shall we? So excellent, excellent, excellent. We got this all done, and I appreciate you all being here at this time. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, feel free to leave them as usual. And we will go ahead and head back to my main system here now. So I want to thank you all for watching. I'm not going to bother showing you that at this time. But I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep an eye open for the weekend videos. Take care, everybody.